when you're on the RPF, the first thing you do, or almost the first, is the truth run down. And they go through all of the files they have on you, which they've collected everything they can find, and see if there are any KRs, like we talked about, um, or other reports where I, or whoever the person is, said something negative, basically, about a staff member or the leaders of the church or L. L. Ron Hubbard or Scientology or various things that are connected with that. And those are all found and listed. And so in the actual auditing session, you'll, you're sitting there, and they'll take the first one, and it's a little more complicated than this, but basically what happens is they'll say, okay, so the report here is that you said blah, blah, blah. So um, when did you actually observe that to be the case? And you go, well, you know, I said... Um, David Miscavige was mean and, um, you know, I observed it when I saw him punch Ray Midoff in the stomach. Okay, so was there an earlier time? Um, you, you, we want to get the very first time, the very first moment when you observed that this was the case. So you nailed down something where you thought, yeah, well, I thought David Miscavige was mean there. And then the next question is, and they have this, you're on the e-meter, is um, just before that, what overt did you commit? And an overt in Scientology is a bad act. It comes from overt act, which is an old legal term, but they, he used it and it's become an overt. And so you have to find out what you did wrong that led to that thing that you observed. You know, and the idea is that you were observing it wrongly. You were deluded. And so then you, you get that overt, and then you go back to earlier overts, earlier times you committed an overt like that. And then you, the next question is, after you get the earliest overt of that kind, the question is, was there an evil purpose or destructive intention that prompted you to commit that over it. So now you're, you did the bad thing, and now you're looking for the evil in you that led you to do the bad thing, which led to the false observation. And you do this, and then you have to like erase or run out that evil purpose or evil intention that you find. And that happens for all the things from your reports. And then from, you know, that they've culled together, like where you said this or whatever. And then um, after that comes a long list of questions where you're asked, like, well, did you ever say anything um, negative about Scientology? Did you ever um, indicate to anyone that Ellen Hubbard, you know, something bad about Ellen Hubbard? Question after question after question after question. And for each of those, it follows the same procedure. And after it's all done, you have to realize that you were deluded. That's part of the, they call it the end phenomena of the procedure. Um, it goes on usually for months, every day, and you're constantly looking for the evil in you. Like why, you know. And at the end, you think they're all great people. And it was all your own evil purposes that made you deluded. And you don't get off the RPF until you've, you've had that realization. And there's a lot of stuff you do after that on the RPF, but that is the first thing that you have to do.